Hey guys, we're back for another video, pitching video here with Matt and Coach Brian. We're gonna show you another way to stay in your back hip, but also drive your front hip. A lot of times, again, we see our heads and our shoulders leaking out in front. So we wanna stay in our backside until we turn it over and attack the plate. So how do we measure this up? Again, this is called the wall drill or the front hip drill. Matt's gonna put his hands against the wall and he's gonna put his lead foot, his glove side foot, up against the wall, straight back. Now, he's gonna measure his back foot or his throwing side foot relatively close. It doesn't have to be touching, but it, it's fairly close. If you have a padded wall, you can go further away. Not Maybe not that far, but a little bit closer. Or, if, because we're using a cinder block wall today, we're gonna go right behind his foot. Now, he's gonna come into a nice, relaxed, set position, okay? All he's gonna do is he's gonna lift and he's gonna drive his hip into the wall. The only thing that should be touching the wall right now is his hip. We don't want his chest over rotating when he does this. That'll cause some issues as we come forward. We don't want his shoulders hitting the wall first too. So coach, can you, can you lift and have your shoulder hit the wall first this time? We don't want to do that. As we talked about in our last video, our last segment of hip drive or staying over our back hip, we don't want to do that. So coach is going to lift and then drive his hip into the wall. We can have kids sit there and actually sit into our back, back leg a little bit. Now we create some leg pressure and push into that wall. We wanna drive into that wall. One more time, coach, go ahead and show us that wall drill up and drive. Perfect.